wasn't. And um, it's going tremendous. I mean, I'm getting I'm going I'm getting leads right now for 22 per result. I mean, this is just yeah, dude, that's outstanding. Like, yeah, that's, that's great. Just, that's just insane. Those are awesome so, results. Um, kind of like what I was talking to you the other day in one of the comment sections. <clears throat> I was trying to figure out. I said I, I was going to download the CSV. And I was going to look to see what was responding well and what wasn't with the ad headlines, pictures, and so forth. And these are my the 21 leads so far. And I had three three ad copies. Are you having problems with your golf cart? Do you own a golf cart? And then when was the last time you, you know, uh, fixed your golf cart? I mean, all of the results, if you look here, or do you own and are you having? I mean, yeah, I that's had perfect. That's clear as day. Yeah. I had one that was when was. Um, I cut all of the when was ads, but this one had a lead. So I didn't know, should I cut this one too? What's the cost? It's, um, let's see. If there's this only one lead, then yeah. Oh yeah, look at the cost. The cost is extremely high compared to everything else. Four dollars. Yeah, exactly. I would turn that off. Just turn it off. Yeah, because and it only has one lead because like you obviously know like uh, over that time like it, that ad's not working. The win was because you have the do you own and then are you having? Because yeah. those are direct those are direct call to actions like and they're it's calling out your audience instantly. Like do you right. own? It's a yes or no. That's are you what having? I it's a yes or no. When was they have to think about it? Yeah, and then they're like, oh, I don't remember. Exactly. Swipe. That's exactly what I was thinking. I'm like, people don't want to think. They're like, oh, that's too hard. I don't remember. Exactly. So yeah, turn that one off. That one's no good. And then like those other two are definitely winners because it's clear. Like you know, those are the ones that are getting the most submissions. They're the ones that are getting the lowest cost. Yeah. Basically, then now what you need to do is like since. Once that one's off, you just need to focus on the cost. Anything that goes above, like, let's see, anything that's above $4, I would turn off. Should I should I put a rule on at this point? Should I create uh, a rule? No, because if you do a rule, what will end up happening is if one day it's like $4 and above and you turn it off and the rule turns it off, but the next day it's like you get five leads at 50 cents. Can't I create a rule, though, for like a seven-day average? Something like that. Yeah, you could. Yeah. We have a module on it if you want to check that out. Okay. And then the other thing I was wondering, so I know you had directly mentioned in one of the trading videos, you said Facebook does not like sensational stuff. You will lose your, you know, you will lose your relevance score. You will, you will lose your quality score with stuff like click. Facebook doesn't like words like click, but if you literally look at this, I tested it and I had claim your voucher or click to claim. And like everything is click to claim. One, yeah. two, three, it's four, because five, it works. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, yeah. 14, 15, 16, 17 out of 22 is click to claim. That's clearly getting it traction. Works. Yeah. Like they're good. Claim okay. your voucher is pretty good too. It actually is probably, yeah, it's getting really low cost. Yeah, so cool. what are your, yeah, what are your thoughts? So it's kind of funny. I mean, what are your thoughts on saying, so for, for this lead gen campaign, I'm saying voucher. They're not really getting a voucher. Like I could set up an autoresponder and send them a, a voucher, but we, we send this, we have this integrated with the software to go straight to the sales rep's phone. And they just get the lead right away and say, you know, more or less, hey, we got limited time slots. You know, we don't, we have only so many slots open for repair. You know, thanks for, you know, putting your request through. When can we get you booked? We don't even send a voucher, but do you think, you think that's okay to say voucher still at that point? Are or they would, ever going to get a voucher? Probably not. So what would you put voucher for? I mean, more or less like get, 
get your free pickup and delivery. Is that what the voucher is? Right, yeah. I mean, they're getting a free pickup and delivery of their golf cart. So, I mean, I just kind of called it a voucher. Yeah, well, Um, I mean, like, you can can email them that. Just use the word in the email. Right. I mean, more or less the sales guy. At scale, it'll be an issue. But, like, right now, with just a few leads, 21 leads, it's not going to be a big deal. But, like, when you have a few thousand people rolling through this thing, there's going to be a few people who are like, hey, I didn't give them my voucher, or they're going to be confused. Okay. I mean, would you just recommend then just put it? I mean, it's very simple. I could literally do. Do an email, yeah. Have an email go out. Yeah, auto email. Exactly. Um, It's automated. You don't have to touch it again once it's set up, it's set up. Yeah, we haven't had a problem yet because the sales guy just said, hey, just responding in regards to your voucher request, you know, and just tries to get them in as fast as possible. Um, Okay, sweet. Um, So I'm going to cut all the when was at this point here um four days in do you think that um should i just cut everything that hasn't gotten a result at this point or yes and just cut everything that hasn't got a result cut everything that's above four dollars and scale the rest because then you're going to drop your lead costs and you're going to get a ton more leads and all of the social groups are going to go to the specific ads that are winning right Awesome. Is that what you usually recommend four days and cut everything that doesn't have a lead? Only if it's very obvious in the data. In okay. this case it is. Yeah. I'd also <laughs> cut the audiences. I'd cut like those audiences. To, well, actually after you cut all your ads, see what the rolling average is. Like switch the filter to active ads only after you cut everything and then see what the right. results are and then give it a, give it some time and then like start cutting audiences at that point. Then you're going to narrow focus into the best audiences. And then basically your lowest cost audience, just increase it by $5 daily. Whichever one is the lowest cost, just keep increasing it. And whichever ones are higher, turn them off. Yeah. So at this point, so Marco Island here, this is like a, it's a tougher market. It's a sod after market because it's pretty close to his location, but he's clearly not getting anything. At this point, I still know it's close to his business and he still wants to target it. You know, I don't think it's necessarily... Maybe it's the audience, but I think maybe I tried some different ad copy. Would you recommend just cutting all the ads here and just trying different ads? What's the mile radius? This is like five, 10 miles away. No, what's the mile radius on Marco Island? How big is it? Just what'd you put for the mile radius? I just hit edit. Hit edit. Yeah, I just selected the whole island. Well, let's see. It's not an ad issue because your ads are working. So it's an audience issue. Ad set may get zero results. Look, scroll back up. It's an ad set issue. It's obvious. Go all the way back up. See? Yeah. You have an issue with your ad set. So It even tells you you're going to get zero leads, but you're still spending money on it. Why? I don't understand why is that. Well, I'd start accepting some of the stuff it says. Scroll back to the top. It says accept the terms right there. View terms. Oh. You need to accept that. That's super interesting. So I have so many tabs open right now. This is taking forever. Yeah, you got to go watch our module where we talk about having one to two tabs at most. Okay, I'll check that out. Um, go back to your ad set. Yeah, yeah see you there. Uh, you got to accept it. But it's funny, it. I actually choose choose the page. Actually, what's that? Oh yeah, you did accept it. Yeah, it actually was accepted. That's why I was a little bit confused. Um, All right, then go through like start eliminating things. Start going to the next thing, $5 daily. There's 25,000 people in the area. Scroll down. Yeah, I just selected, like, I literally just selected the island. I didn't do a mile radius or anything. I mean, it's like, here's the I turn off Turn off automatic expansion or audience expansion, detail targeting expansion, because it, it might end up showing it to people outside of that area. 
turn that off. Yeah, because like when you're doing location targeting, you might not want that because it's going to show it to people even further outside of that range. Yeah, that's why right. I selected because the ad literally says, hey, Marco Island. So I, um, that's why I didn't do like a five, 10 mile radius because it could pick up some people from over here too, which I didn't want to do. His business is right here, right on 41. So he's like the closest dealership to Marco. Scroll so down. He still wants to target them. All right, go ahead and hit learn more on that ad set. Me get zero leads. Just find out why the reason is. You know, at the top right it says learn more. Oh, right yeah. under that big. Okay. Try to move this here. Oh, it's just basically stating that it doesn't believe it's going to be able to get any leads for you. It doesn't even think it'll be able to accomplish one lead at all. I mean, do you think that's just because like it's set to $5 and maybe other millionaires are blowing me away on budget? No. Because you've reached nearly a thousand people in that area and not one has interacted with it. Yeah, I didn't know if maybe my placement was worse or something like that. I guess I still saw it. Interesting. Okay. Any other advice for this one? Just turn off all the ads in there that, since it has your leads, only keep two of the your best performing ads on in there. Like, okay. Just look in the other ad set, see which audiences are best performing, and then just turn those on there. Okay. Awesome. Yeah, I mean, yeah. this is just—I mean, this is just outstanding. I mean, it's seven dollars before. You know, I fil I filter my selection, but I mean, I should get it to under five bucks consistently. I think. Yeah, well, I mean, it's about to get even better once you make all those changes. And then, like, next thing you know, you can launch a lookalike with some of these locations and, like, do even better. Usually with location-based targeting, we would even launch, like, an audience that has all of those locations in them. Yeah, which would be Naples 30 miles because they're – Naples – It don't covers even, all of his locations? Yeah, so I, that that's the thing. I didn't know if I should even do this because – so for example, I have Naples 30 miles and Naples 50 mile, 15 from his location. I felt Look, like- Is that I, his location? Are you doing the radius from his address? Yeah. Okay. Because I feel like I don't even need to have the 15 mile because Facebook is going to optimize if they're within 15 miles anyways. No, well, that's that's- not always true because what you need to do is once you cut all those ads, you need to weigh the cost then. Because like once you narrow it down to your best two ads, it's going to eliminate it being an ad issue, the cost. The costs are going to stop fluctuating because each of those ad sets are spending money on random ads in there, testing them. So like once you have only two ads running in both that are your best performing or one ad that is just best performing, it's going to force the system to be able to, you know, you'll be able to see what the costs are going to end up panning out to be because you're two ads against two ads, right? It's controlled in that case. Then you're going to be able right. to identify if it's the audience. It's too hard to make a judgment call on that without actually having a apples to apples comparison with your ads. Yeah. And so part of the we're reason to one to two ads in each, no more. Okay. And I'm Best not performing. Gonna, Even if I'm they got gonna... leads, I would turn them off if they're above four. And I would go so look through gonna... each ad set and find out which creative is working best. Okay. I'm not going to argue with the expert here, but just kind of being the devil's advocate. Um, like if I look at some of these ads, for example, I mean, this one only reached three people. I mean, this one reached two, this one reached five. There's like no data on it. I, we That's because you got to look at the data collectively across that ad in all audiences. You can predict the future just by looking at that. That's why it's so important to have creative access. Hit the try new version of Ads Manager. This is going to solve your question because now you're not going to have to be all steary eyed by looking at all these individual ads. You should be <laughs> using creative. You should be using the creative tool to look at it. Right. <laughs> there you go. 
now you're on the new ad set. Now on the far left, you need to select that drop down, hit see more on the far left, all the way to the left, hover over that column. Here. All the way to the left. Oh, no, that's your right. Go to the left. All the way to the left. One more over on that column next to that little thermostat thingy. Now hover down, hover down. Now hit more tools, hit show, and then select creative. And then go back to the table real quick. Go back to the table. You got to do one thing before you go to that. Yeah. Yep. Click that. Deselect the campaign. You don't want to select anything when you do this. Deselect everything. Yeah, there you go. Do you select that? Now go to your creative. Okay. On the far left, okay. on the far, far left. There you go. Click that. Now this is the creative view. It's going to stack all of the ads that are the same in every single audience. And you're going to be able to identify and it's going to put the data. It's going to collect all the data for all, my, all of them, put them all on top of that one same ad. And it's going to increase the amount of reach and impressions and all that because it adds it all up. That way you don't have to say like, oh, it only has one impression when realistically the other audience spent $20 on it and got no leads. So, you know, that's a false belief. You can make a better call this way by looking through this. So how do I, how do I, so right now I'm seeing, I'm like, how do I um, reduce the number of ads here? You don't, you just look at it here and then you make the decision in the ad set, ad set level, you turn off the ads. And you can hit view one ad or you can hit the view ad on the far left to go the, to the audience it's in. But like, yeah, I mean, click here to claim your free. That one needs to go off. Anything that needs, doesn't have leads right now needs to get turned off immediately. Okay. You have winners here. You think, yeah. what, you think, you think one is enough to tell if something's a winner? I mean, not I always. Why. Not always. But I mean, like, if you look at those... Those images are the same. Scroll back up. Those images, you see like it's it's yeah. not that it's just one one. It's that it has a ton more spend. Look at the spend. $4.53 plus 452 plus 451. Yeah. Well, that, this one that's for like a... nearly that's okay. like nearly $20. This one for a fact, I actually took this picture myself. I know this is good because this church is just iconic to the town we live in. Like people see that on their feed, they stop because it's yeah. relevant. It's relevant to them. So I understand why that one specifically would work really well. I was actually pretty surprised. I thought that I found this picture on Canva being close to the beach. I thought this one was just going to go bonkers down here. And it's actually doing horrible all across the board. It's because the focus goes straight to the bag. I instantly think e-commerce when I see this. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. No, seriously, after you do this for a long enough time, you can tell where the direct, like you, uh, we have an article that talks about like how to use images. You got to put the direct focus on the actual product itself. So, so like, it's, it's funny because this, this ad, I thought this was like my guess. I thought this one would have been the worst and I'm actually getting a lot of leads with the family. And I don't know if it's just because people see people and they're like, do I know that person? And then yes. They look at it. Yes, and the story of the kids that I was telling you about. Which one of the kids? Kids are like ninety percent of the reason why like people are always fixing their golf carts because like <laughs> kids are always like wanting to ride them and everything. They love golf carts. Right. So like you know, yeah, the parents are thinking about the children. Your, I took your advice and I kept it as just open eighteen plus. It seems to be going well. And uh, this is actually pretty cool. When I download the CSV too, I can see that I picked up a couple of Instagram leads as well, which is actually cool because I did not think that was going to happen. Well, if you scroll all the way over, did you do the placement for the UTMs? Oh, no. I, I didn't. I actually added that afterwards because I, I had asked you about that. Cool. Yeah, I mean, like everything's looking good here. Just Very make cool. all those changes. Very cool. Awesome. Thanks, Chase.